Hey, what's up everyone? This is Music Tech Help Guy, and I've got another Logic Pro quick tip here for you today. In this video, I'm going to show you what I believe to be the fastest method of auto punch recording in Logic Pro. Now, this is not as fast as using quick punch in, but that's a method where you can punch in on the fly, but it sort of requires two different people, one person operating the Logic Project and another person performing. If you're recording yourself, quick punch in isn't really going to help you. However, this next method I'm gonna show you absolutely will. A huge thanks to Oliver Rosa for pointing this out in the comments on my previous video, where I demonstrated how to do something similar with punch recording in the marquee tool. However, that method required a couple of extra steps and a special key command to set your punch range. I believe this method to be even faster. So let's jump right into this. So what you can do is you come up here to the play button and you click and hold or right click and you want to turn off this option that says play from marquee selection. What this is going to do is it's going to allow you to use the marquee tool and you can use the marquee tool to set your punch range without having to use the shortcut that I demonstrated in a previous video. And for this method, you don't even have to have auto punch shown. You don't even have to show it in the control bar. So let's give this a listen. It's just a quick guitar part with a mistake at bars four and five. And I want to punch in some new chords there. Okay, so after you turn off this marquee selection option from the play button, all you have to do is use the marquee tool to set your punch range. Then what you can do is set your playhead wherever you want it to start at, and then just hit R to record. The playback will actually start from the playhead, and the recording will only start at the punch range that's been defined by the marquee tool. No extra shortcut required. <laughs> And you can see here it's punched in that recording at the marquee selection. And what you'll also notice is that it automatically adds auto punch and creates an auto punch range around the marquee selection, even if you don't have auto punch pulled up in the control bar. So this is really cool for a really super quick and easy way to use auto punch without having to waste any extra clicks actually pulling up the auto punch mode like I did in the previous video. Now, another way you can use this is you can set a punch range with the marquee tool, just like I did before, and then turn on your cycle mode. So if this is an area that you know you're going to have to go back and re-record a couple of times, you can just set your marquee range, set the cycle range, and make sure that this option is turned on, play from cycle. Then when you hit record, the playhead will jump back to the beginning of the cycle range and only punch in at the marquee selection. So you can see there, it only jumped in at the marquee selection. So that's another way that you can use this. And when you want to hide auto punch, you can just press control option command P to hide auto punch. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. As always, thank you so much for the support and thanks for watching.